I'm back. I got my lashes done. That's probably the one positive thing. I don't know, guys. I didn't even want to film when I got back home. Also, look at my basketball shorts. Come on. Normana, norm, normalize. Normalize basketball shorts. They're comfy. But yeah, guys, I kind of feel like I'm in a rut. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I didn't want to film, but I think that's what this whole thing's about. Not everything's happy. I was like in bed a lot. It's some kind of ass leaving my bed. Getting that like motivation to get up and do stuff has been kind of hard. And I find whenever I feel like I'm going in that direction, I paint to make me feel better. And so we're gonna paint and talk and work through this. Work through this little bump. But what's new guys? What's new with you guys? Let's see, what's new with me? This is my painting book. Okay, yeah, I sticker bombed this a long time ago. I kind of wish I did it and left it all black, but here we are. I don't even know what half these stickers are, so. But as you can see, I'm almost done with it. I'm about this much is done, and then I still have this much to fill. It's really thick. It has acrylic paint, watercolor, colored pencil, really stupid drawings, really deep drawings. One day I'll go through it with you. I'll show my latest one. This is my latest one. Someone spilling wine and then a bunch of stuff inside the wine. You look at that little fish. On most of my paintings, I'll be inspired by a song. So on the backs, I'll put the song that inspired it. So this one was inspired by Ribs by Lord. And if you listen to this song, I think she has a lyric that's like, You spill your drink. Something like that. Yeah, it inspired this whole little shindig. Even though I'm not good at it, I enjoy drawing hands. But that's my little show and tell. It's kind of, it's kind of cringe. It's, it's a little cringe now that I'm doing it. But I have a sketch of, I have a sketch of Evie <laughs> that I could paint right now. I just drew Eevee because Eevee was like one of my favorite Pokemon. She's so cute. I only like the cute Pokemons. So I only like like Piplup, Eevee, you know, the OG three when they were in their baby stage or their original evolution. Like Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. So cute. Here's my palette. We're gonna start with this shade. <laughs> just kidding. I don't wanna blame retrograde. I don't wanna blame the new moon. But yeah, it does feel like 2021, kind of crazy. Like compared to where I was a year ago, exactly a year ago, pretty much at the start of 2021, that was probably one of like the lowest lows I've ever been in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Last year was really hard for my family. My dad's brother passed away really suddenly and my dad talked to his brother every day. My uncle, you know, was a huge part of my childhood. Like I felt really confused. Like why, why our family, you know, like it was just weird to navigate. And I was still a senior doing online school in a pandemic. The lack of control in my life at that time a year ago was really, really insane. I, yeah, I remember being really isolated and feeling really isolated and even from my family, like kind of not knowing how to talk to them, even though like we're all there for each other. I feel like when I get, you know, emotional or in my head, I tend to like seclude myself and I feel bad for my family because they just kind of have to wait till I get out of my rut, which is usually what I, I don't know. Maybe I see the patterns, you know, of myself. I didn't, I don't <laughs> Fart noise, <laughs> distract. <laughs> Anyways, the brighter side, like you kind of learn a lot about yourself at your darkest moments. You really feel what it's like to be human. And that's when I, that's when I think you feel the most grateful for life and you feel the most, like it could make you feel really alive no matter how low and like how dark it gets. Like at the end of the day, life is life. Like life is life. And we don't really know what happens after. We don't know what happens, you know, tomorrow. But all you can do is just like exist live it to the best of your abilities. That's what I learned from the whole thing. Live life, live, laugh, laugh, no, I'm kidding. Um, live, laugh, laugh, no, I don't. But that ass, like, don't live your life with regret. Like, just go with your fucking gut. I don't even know why I feel like I'm preaching at you guys. I'm sorry. I think it's just around this time I get sad, so. <laughs> or deep, you know? 
Typing in your notes app actually has helped me a lot. I get a lot of ex existential thoughts now and then and wording them out kind of helps. Also art has helped a lot. I think that's why, you know, I filled up this book as much as I have. Like I never touched this book in, uh, in like college or high school. Like I never really had a artistic outlet and it feels really good after like, I feel like you did something, like you put something out and some stuff's just for you, some stuff you want it to be perceived. And I think when you have the power of what is perceived, that's really cool. And I think that's why I like clothes so much because, you know, first impressions are kind of insane. Like a lot of people make decisions about you on first impressions. And as much as that sucks and like, it's, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Self-expression can be really freeing. It can be really, like when you walk down the street, you're not gonna talk to everyone. You're not gonna ask them about their outfits or, you know, if they have a, a more basic or simple outfit. It could say a lot about them, it could not. And that's their decision. But I think having that power is really cool. So that's why clothes are super cool. You can say as much as you want about yourself without even having to talk. So let's go with NFTs. <laughs> this should be things to say to men that will disturb their peace while I paint and do a peaceful activity. All right, why don't you just print more money? <laughs> Stocks are stupid. <laughs> what are NFTs? <laughs> Bitcoin and Dogecoin are like the same thing. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I'm just out of it. I think my sleep schedule's just been really ass. So that's been messing with my energy levels. I've been sleeping like around 3 a.m. and then waking up at like 11 and I don't like that. I was used to be a morning, morning bird, morning person, early bird. I don't know. Don't laugh at my Eevee, okay? What is that? Okay, airplane. Oh, repeat my stroke game. Repeat that stroke. <sighs> Not even good at this, but it doesn't matter to me. I've accepted being mid. That sounds bad, but like what's wrong with being mid at things? I realize that I'm not super superior at one specific thing, but I'm mid at a lot of things. Sports, sewing, painting, even YouTube. I'm pretty mid at YouTube. Like I didn't start this, you know, to act like I was living this lavish life or showing you something new. Like I knew like there's nothing new to the way I'm doing my YouTube and I kind of don't care. <laughs> like I don't, it doesn't matter. Normalize being mid. I'm mid at cooking. I was mid at being a student low key. Like I was a good student in high school, but you know, who cares? It's high school. In college, I was mid. <laughs> I feel like we put pressure on ourselves to excel at everything we do, like being the best, which is, I get, like that's great work ethic. Like you should be the best you can and try your best at everything. I mean, I, I think I do and I'm still mid. Like I'm not freaking Van go up in here. I'm not a freaking Olympic volleyball player. Like, I just do it to have fun. What life's about? Well, I just watched The Matrix, The Resurrection, the newest one. And it's so crazy to me that like, in different forms of art, people are always fumbling with that question. What is real? What is reality? Making decisions, like, do we even have free will? Like, is it really our own decisions? Or is it just programs in us from like society, from our upbringing that we're supposed to even think a certain way or go a certain route. And that's really cool. The whole idea of unlearning something is really cool to me. Like we're probably in a simulation, but at least you're the main character. At least it's your plot line. And even though we can feel trapped, you can see your reality in any way you want. That's the power you have. And I really liked one of the sayings in the movie was like, choice is an illusion. You already know what you need to do. Like that's crazy. Choice is kind of an illusion. Like sometimes we think we have the power, but do we? Or is that just like society making us think that? And that's so, that's so crazy. Power, power is just a crazy thing. There could be multiple realities, more alternative realities, endless possibilities, you know, if you were to make a different decision. But the thing is, we'll never really know. Everyone's just guessing. Everyone's figuring out their own version of life and like what it means. I don't even know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really all over the place. <laughs> I'm pretty all over the place. You got a mouthful for me. This wasn't supposed to be a lecture. I know. I know, I know bestie. I'm sorry. You're on winter break. I get it. Uh, sorry. 
and I'm really excited for what 2022 will offer. I think it's gonna be another long year, a lot of uncertainty, but I think there's gonna be a lot of change. I just wanna enjoy every second of it, the whole year, all of it. Even the shitty parts, even the good parts, everything in between. I remember being a kid wanting to be an adult and then I remember like the adults in my life saying, no, enjoy it while it lasts, hold on to your youth. And I never understood that, but I sound like an old geezer. Like get me a walker. Just enjoy life guys, that's all I'm saying. Even if you're in a rut, there's still something to enjoy. Like I kind of feel like dog shit right now, but at least I'm painting. <laughs> at least I'm looking at pretty colors and slowly pulling myself out of it. And if you can't, you can't. Give it time, give yourself a day or two. Like give yourself more time. Listen to your body. Your body knows, you know, when it needs rest, when it needs a break. But if you see something you don't like in yourself, do everything you can to break out of it, break the habits. And I think that's my 2022 20, resolution. I want to be more consistent, you know, painting, sewing, videos. When I do do it, I feel so good. But then when I go into my habits of laying in bed for longer than I need to, not going on my walks, not drinking water, I feel worse. But sometimes I can't get out of that rut until I look at myself from an outside perspective. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Go get up. Don't mope around. But you know, some days, it's hard. It's hard. It's always a battle. I think a lot of it's a battle within yourself. I think we can beat it. Right, guys? <laughs> Just know if any bitch trying to fight you, especially at a club, on the street, I'll be right behind you. I'll hold your earrings. I'll hold your heels. I'll let you use my heel. Yeah, I'll hold your hair. Don't worry. We're on the same team. I'm kidding. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? I don't condone violence. Please don't go out and fight people. Please. I'm not done yet, but here's my Evie so far. Ah! She's not done yet. The eye's kind of scary, but I'll show the end product on Instagram or something. I need to listen to music and reflect and paint, so. Smash the like button. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.